Hey guys, Dan with Kane Custom Garage. And uh, today I wanted to put together this little impromptu video of our little mini vacation that me and Christina went on. We went to um, Cleelum and Roslyn, Washington. Just to do a little mini getaway for my 50th birthday. Can you believe that? I'm 50 now? Holy smokes. But anyways, we went to uh, Cleelum and sort of hung out there for a while. It was cool. And then we decided to go to Roslyn, which I'd been there quite a few years ago for a car show, but we never really like explored the town a whole lot. And so we went there and just sort of checked it out. And it was sort of cool. I didn't realize that the whole town was built um, around a coal mine. It was built around the coal mining industry. And then the little town up the road called Ronald, Washington was also part of that. But yeah, the coal mines were like a big thing up until like the early 60s, I guess, which yeah, that's crazy. I didn't even know they had coal mines. But anyways, what, what uh, prompted me to make the video was they had this giant piece of machinery there that looks like a giant chainsaw. So I wanted to show you guys that and then showed you some of the quirkiness of the town. And you know, they filmed that um, TV show Northern Exposure there too so I was going to show you some of that stuff. So anyways let me put this video together and uh, I think you guys will find it interesting. Yeah see there's the old storefronts. It's like going back in time coming to this place. It's pretty cool. This is where they filmed Northern Exposure. You guys remember that show? I used to watch that show. It was a pretty good show. It was supposed to be set in Sicily, Alaska. So that's, they used this town for Sicily, Alaska, I guess. And then here's the, here's Dr. Fleischman's office. Remember Dr. Joel Fleischman? See, it still says it on the, still says it on the window. See, right there. Sicily's gift shop. Apparently, they're not open yet. front of the Brick Tavern, the oldest tavern in Washington State. Look at that cool old sign. That's pretty cool. There's the Coal Miners Memorial right in front of the company store. NIC building, it's on the National Registry, I guess. It's a pretty cool old building, but yeah, that was the that was the company store. Remember that song? I owe my soul to the company store. Yeah, look at that. I didn't realize that they had that big of a coal mine around here in Roslyn, Washington. That's crazy. The coal Miners Memorial. May 10th, 1892 mine explosion, October 3rd, 1909, number four mine explosion, wow. And there's a cool statue with a miner. Huh. Yeah, this building's pretty crazy too. Very ornate. Founded during Washington's territorial period. Mm. Right. Yeah, see, she's on the National Registry. The NIC store. Yeah, look at the look at the cool hardware that the awnings. Those are for the awnings that they can that they can stretch out. It's all the original hardware and everything. 
pretty cool. Oh, and then I was going to show you these. Oh, see, here's the mechanism. They put a little hand cranker in there. And then see the gears up there, and then that's how they cranked out the awning. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, look at this place. It's huge. And it had all these crazy, like, metal covers for the windows and stuff. It's like, man, this thing is like a fortress. Look at this old pony ride thing. That's an old one. That's something I would have rode when I was a kid. Here's another angle of the storefronts. That's pretty cool. There's the brick. There's Dr. Fleischman's office over there. <laughs> There's an old Model T over here. I gotta go look at that. Look at this old Model T. The guy came driving up in it. I, I didn't get a chance to film him coming up in it, but it's in front of this Logan's place. Logan's are bust. Look at them creepy heads in there. What the heck? <laughs> That's interesting. The old T. The old Tin Lizzie. <laughs> That's funny. Here's one of the firefighting sheds. I guess it's the last one. They had these around town, I guess, and they had firefighting equipment in them, see? And so they had the firefighting cart and all that, and then the, if there was a fire, the volunteer firefighters would come to the shed, to the nearest shed, and grab the equipment and haul it to the fire. But yeah, I guess this is the last remaining one. That's pretty cool. Huh. This is a this was a mining town back in the day, I guess. Coal mining. And so they got a little museum. See there's the museum. Sort of cool. And then this is one of the this is one of the mining cart train things that they used to go into the mine. It was a big old electric Heart thing. Huh, crazy. See, it sort of tells about it. Oh, it's the electric mule. Huh, that's pretty cool. And then it see it's got a whole train of stuff here. They got little. What's that? Oh, keep off the machinery. All right, I'll keep off the machinery. See, here's some coal. They got some coal dust in here. Mmm. Yummy. There's the coal car. And then these are the these are the cars that the miners would ride in to go down to the mine. It's sort of cool. Yeah, the seats are at a funky angle, but I guess once they go start going downhill, then they're straight. Like that. <laughs> Some more coal. Huh. That's cool. And then this is like some kind of water pump. I think they said it was a water pump. Oh yeah, there it says right there. Pump out the flooded mines pump out the groundwater sort of a funky machine and then here's the Sullivan mucker it says the machine known as the mucker well you guys can read that huh I got some cool old cool old log cabin back here 
So that's the little museum here, but what we came to look at is over here. The big ass chainsaw. Because you can call it a chainsaw, right? It's technically a chainsaw. Didn't say that it was for wood. Look at this beast. <laughs> now that's a big ass chainsaw. They use these for cutting the coal, I guess. They'd undercut the big chunks of coal. Look at the teeth on that bad boy. You see, it's got a big set screw right there. You could change the teeth. Yeah, I see the chains in there. She's long. She's long been froze up from sitting outside here. Yeah, look at that bar and chain. Could you imagine trying to lift that sound bitch? <laughs> and it's got a big giant electric motor on it. And then it's got this winch and a bunch of other apparatus on it. And that's crazy. I wonder what that is. Goodman short wall machine. Hmm. Yeah, see, it's the Sullivan Ironclad Continuous Coal Cutters. 30 horsepower. Damn. Well, there's a picture of it. I bet you that machine takes a lot of maintenance. Yeah, see some of the cutters are facing up and then some are facing down. That's crazy. I'll have Christina hold the phone you can get a scale of how big it is. See, there's the old chainsaw. She's a big one. <laughs> I don't know if I can lift it. Maybe I can try and lift it. Maybe not. Yeah, that's cool. Here's a little map of the coal mines. That's sort of cool. Huh. Yeah, that's so crazy. I had no idea there was coal mines around here. I figured that was all like back east somewhere. That's cool. Here's their little park here. It's sort of nice. Here's the cemetery in Roslyn, the historic cemetery. It's pretty interesting because, you know, a lot of them were miners in the coal mines. And so each, they had different lodges for each nationality that was here. And, and so, yeah, there's quite a few different markers and yeah, it's crazy. So yeah, like each nationality had their own lodge. Huh. Yeah, see, look at this. Bodies of the miners being prepared for burial at the Roslyn City Hall after the May 10th. Number one mine explosion, 1892. That's crazy. And then they had another explosion that killed 45 people. Oh, that was the same one. And see, here's the different nationalities. That's pretty crazy. The Italian Lodge, Indians, Sokola Lodge, Yugoslavia. So yeah, all kinds of nationalities came to be coal miners. Huh, that's crazy. And then yeah, see here's the cemetery. Christina's up there looking at it because I guess there's some pretty crazy headstones and stuff. I guess they even had a way to um, photo etch pictures into the gravestones way back when. So there's some pretty interesting stuff. So yeah, here's the cemetery. 
Lots of really old headstones and stuff. Military, veterans, coal miners, regular people. Pretty crazy. Wow, it goes clear over there. Huh. Pretty big cemetery for a small town, but a lot of people died in the coal mines, I guess. Crazy. Wow, we got to looking around, and man, this cemetery is massive. It like goes clear back in the trees. It's pretty crazy. So this whole area was a mining community. Oslin and Donald and then Cleelan too. Ah, that's crazy. Here's the other side of the museum. Sort of coming at it from another way. See, there's another one of them big old coal cutter chainsaws. That's crazy. And then here's one of their... One of the uh, belt axles that ran all the machinery and stuff in one of the buildings. There's another one of them chainsaws over there. Yeah, there's the museum. What's this sign say? Roslyn Museum Mining Display. Hmm. Cool. There's another, there's that other chainsaw. They got three of them, I think. So yeah, that's cool. So yeah, if you ever get out to Roslyn, or if you ever get out to Washington State, you should come see what Roslyn. It's pretty cool. Cool old town. Old coal mining town.